Hello everyone, welcome back to ADV Revival. This is Gold Mason, and I am joined by my dear friend 918. Yo! 918 here uh, apparently has a special relation with Dice, one of the battlers we're going to be covering today. Uh, yeah! Uh, a year or so ago I did a narration for Callus Invitational 6, and uh, that match was uh, Eden versus Dice. Well everyone, you heard it here. If you want more 918 content, go check that out on the Callus Narrates uh, channel. It should be linked in the ADV resources. But for now, we're going to get more 918 commentary a different way by watching this set. Uh -oh. Beagle! It is the Beagle. Oh. Oh, no. That's the worst feeling if you're using Smeargle and just get sp uh, subbed on turn one. Eats the Salic Berry, but switches to Jolteon. Kind of interesting. I wonder, maybe predicting a Thunderweight. Well, I guess it's like... Well, then you get the Jolteon T-waved, but... Yeah. Possibly expecting a Baton Pass, so that Smeargle could boom instead, but when this Baton Pass didn't happen, it switched out. This Jolteon's got some comes... good Roar Chip in, with a spike down. Yeah, really good reads. In comes Tyranitar. We can take nothing from that uh, rock slide. Oh wow! What a double! Switching right into the right into the Smeargle uh, and the Zapdos as the Smeargle comes That's in. Nice, it's fantastic. In power, doing literally nothing. Jolteon coming back in, and Tyranitar is going to wall it for now. Wonder if Smeargle is going to get sacked here. No, we're back to Suicune. Suicune is not taking much in this T-Tar. Wonder if it's got... Re oh, yeah, looky there. There's the rest. Might be a bold Suicune of some sort? Uh, maybe either... Maybe not a... It's either like a bold or maybe like a really bulky modest or something. I feel like that makes sense because this team looks like it wants to play a little quick with the whole Smeargle thing. Thunder Wave from Jolteon is a nice mid-ground. It probably exits here again. Oh, to Aerodactyl. Double speedsters. Yo. Danger. Swampert's gonna wall that Aerodactyl, probably. Yep. yep. Only taking 37%. Swampert's probably one or two switches from being in the danger zone, though. Oh, absolutely. And actually, Jolteon makes for an excellent pivot for the Suicune and this uh, Aerodactyl. Oh, that, that's... Trying trying to sack the Smeargle, I think? Yeah, that's a great mid-ground, though. Because this Zapdos is scary right now. And Metagross goes down. It's a lot of offensive pressure lost here. You know, Jolteon has to take a little chip, too. Mm. Not looking great for Dice, although no, is... the pieces are still definitely there. Getting tougher every time, though. That spike, though, is oh my goodness. That's a... that ro that roar takes some cojones, but it worked out. There's the focus punch. I don't know how, but you and I have gotten focus punch in every set we've narrated together. <laughs> it's just such a good move. <laughs> it really is the best move. I mean, it is one of the Suicune's defining moves in advance. You don't see Focus Punch in any other gen. Well, that's because the uh, the pivot moves came afterwards, right? Yeah, that in close combat. Oh, yeah, true. Sleep Talk. It's the Sleep Talk Calm Mind, but now Suicune's going to have to switch out and still have two sleep turns to burn through. Might stay in, predicting that. Oh, Unfortunate. Unfortunate. <laughs> Here's Jolteon. Oh, that was nice, though. Get some health back. You know, I wonder if that means this uh, Zapdos is HPIs. Oh, no. Ooh. Probably is HPIs. Down goes Jolteon, and the, the, the pivot is lost. Smart rock slide. 
risky stay in there. But Era's gone too. I don't know if I like to stay and in Zapdos? there, but I get, I get what it's Zapdos? for. Zapdos can just come in for free. Yeah, this one might be if over. Tarantar is made through. So what's the last one on a team like this? Uh, probably Gengar. Or uh, uh, Salamence. Could be a D-Deer. Maybe a Snorlax? for. Although I think we would have seen Snorlax by now, right? Yeah, I would think so. There's the smear go. I think we're gonna see the last right now. It is a Gengar. Very nice. Yeah, some of the help speed the team spikes. Oh, interesting that that's just forfeits too. Doesn't even try to go for it. I mean, I feel like that Gengar could put in some work, but maybe it's some weird Gengar set. The uh, focus punch uh, Destiny Bond kind of Gengar. Maybe, yeah. Because like just well, wow. Beam Gar looks like an absolute menace to deal with right now. Yeah, I did not, uh, that was kind of a, a wallop. Because, like, what, what's that did not spell be at? Uh, like, 50-something percent? 60? 63. It's not safe for repeated ice punch spam. I don't know. The Starmie probably is, though. That's true, but it doesn't want to eat, like, a T-Bolt, especially after another round of Spikes Chip. Yeah. Well, Dice probably knows better than us. True. And we're on to game two. The classic Spider-Man meme. Yo. Ooh. Not predicted correctly, but you never I never I never know what to go for in those uh Tyranitar versus Tyranitars. Yeah, I don't either. It really is weird. What is that C Tar uh Nah, no, never mind. Or if it's like choice band, well, but I don't think it is. Yet another melodic. I guess expecting a Wow, hard back. Yeah, hard mag expecting maybe a Skarmory to come in. Although I don't think you switch Skarmory in on a melodic. You could switch a like a uh, like four A maybe. Possibly, yeah, that's fair. Sing Blissey. Great Blissey. And in comes melodic. That did a lot. It is leftovers. Maybe it's just uh, adamant. But melodics back to full. Yeah, maybe like a BKC tar. Is confirmed to be toxic melodic. This is a pretty pretty bulky team from Dice. Yeah, this one might be a minute. Yeah. Unless we see another offensive swamper yeah. just to <laughs> run through. Everything. No, 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 not off for. There's the Skarmory. This could be a uh, danger zone then, because, yeah. The roar, but I mean, Arrow. you're not going to keep the Skarmory. You're just going to take your spike and go. Oh. Another arrow. Okay, so I'm willing to bet that this is a arrow spikes team from uh, Shaip, so... Last month. Oh, oh my. no. An expert read. HP grass protect mag. No, that that magneton is a problem. Yeah, absolutely. My goodness. Took Skarmory and Swampert. Insane value from the magneton. Oh, this focus punch. the focus punch. That's not going to be enough. Yeah, even a critical hit wouldn't have uh, taken down that melodic. It's a very beefy melodic. Beefy mon. I, I'm I'm not seeing uh, a great way for Shaib to make progress here. I mean, you know, between melodic and Blissey and, you know, your spike's gone, your, yeah. Arrow switching it. I mean, if this is like HP bug arrow too, it's going to be even more of a problem because now you can't even go to T-Tar. Even a mid-ground uh, rock slide here can hit all three and the Gengar. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that one, that one is definitely a forfeit. Yeah, Magneton. A forfeit worthy one. Magnet bonk. Dude. 
honestly. Swagnaton out here putting in the value. <laughs> Actually, probably made it through everything but Celebi on that team. Insane. Yeah. It's got Protect this, got this... the arrow, Choice Band too. Unbelievable. This is insane. Yo. And we're on to game three. Set the line. <laughs> I said the line. Gosh. Oh no, not the Flygon? Leaf Flygon. Oh, oh no. no. Lives, clicks spikes, but Oh I guess the second spike isn't too valuable to want to or to need to get it, but yeah, unfortunate. Not the protect. If Shaip, if Shaip shows a Doug Trio later, that is like the perfect like double. Oh, Fire Blast. Toxic, Toxic on the Charizard. Oh no, not beat up. This is gonna hurt. What is it? Charizard is like the strongest user of beat up in OU. Oh, because it's beat up itself is pretty decent. It's right? got an eighty-five. It has a higher attack stat than Doug Trio. If memory serves right, I think it's like, what, 85? Yeah, something like that. Starter privilege, as they say. True. Starmie's coming in. Starmie as the answer to Skarmory means that uh, we probably don't have a mag, probably don't have a... Uh, like a Zapdos or anything like that either, so... I thought this was like a big five type team, last two being uh, Etar, like Gar or something. Looks like a offensive Starmie. I mean, the Toxic on Charizard actually is probably pretty pretty relevant here. It means that uh, the best Blissey answer outside of Celebi doesn't want to stay in too long. Oh yeah, especially this Blissey doing solid chunks with Ice Beam. And with Fire Blast too, so you can't even try to like get spikes off of it with uh, Skarm. Oh, uh, Baton Pass to the S Pursuit Tar? Oh no. This might be a problem. Oh, There's and got the, the crunch. crunch. Very bulky Gengar. Yeesh. Possibly using something like the El Clasico set or something. El Clasico! It's unfortunate that but, Tar took uh, this much shift too, because now it can't 1v1 star me. Yeah, it's going to switch out on the Hydro Pump. Now this star me might be Celebi. a problem. Possibly, if it can make it through Celebi. Giga Train or something is clicked. Oh, just going to recover. It's probably the smartest play. Blissey's in on some Leech Seed. No, another recover. Just stall it out. That Celebi's probably not very attack invested then. In FB type of thing. I apologize for my dog in the background. She heard a noise. Here comes Flygon. Yeah, Charizard uh, took that 50% off of Blissey and hasn't come back in. That Toxic is really doing a number on it. Oh no! Ew. Swampert is in and takes a Toxic on a sub, a substitute Flygon. Oh, is this the dice special? That sub tech Toxic EQ Flygon? Oh my! It is. <laughs> yeah. The downside here is though that Starmie can. Rapid spin for pretty much free. This Flygon isn't going to stay in. Or get an Ice Beam crit. Hey, Either way. That works too. Well, I want to be honest. Exactly. I don't think Skarmory is going to be in t bolt range. Might be a little off on that. Part. I mean, as, as long as Starmie stays healthy, this is... um. There's the spin. It is the spin. That does mean no uh, no recover though, so yeah, it's not a yeah not a bulky star. Dice identifying the biggest threat to uh, to his game plan and trying to take as much damage on the Starmie as possible. That's as if that Starmie stays healthy and manages to uh, manages to do some stuff. I mean, it it does look very threatening to Dice's team.
Oh yeah. I don't know how much more work this Charizard could even do because even if it tries to trap this Blissey, it's down two Mons for beat up because of the burn on Titar and the Toxic on itself. Or just a losing battle at this point. Mm-hmm. But we'll see as it here he comes. Fire Blast misses. I mean, on the flip side, what actually wants to switch into this Charizard at this point? Not. St oh no. Oh. Yeesh. Yeah, very nice read and Hydro Pump misses. Oh, oh no. Hydro miss. Pursuit's probably clicked here and That's a little crit just that insult injury. Yeah, yeah. Don't you know. That's what does. Yeah. If the Skarmory ever gets in and manages to click, uh... Oh! Ooh, big freeze. Well, that will do it. Wonder if we'll see Magneton. Yeah. Hydro Pump misses. Well, Protect action. Did I miss it? Is this thing have protect the one that hits. Next one's gonna miss. And there's or another protect. And on a that one did miss. Wow. I called it. <laughs> Only two hydro pumps remaining. Now one. I mean, the Starmie probably can claim the kill here. Need to switch that. Yeah. I mean, the Skarmory can you know trade most of its health for the remainder of Starmie, and the big threat is gone. Yeah, there it is. Uh, that's big. And now Skarm can get a layer up. Probably Flygon here. Yeah. No, what's the million dollar question is what actually switches into this Flygon? Yeah, no nothing really. There's talks. He's able to s stall out Ice Beam PP with the uh, with Protect and Substitute. Subtect Flygon. What a menace. Yeah, Swampert's gonna go down here in a moment. There it is. Oh, here comes Blissey. Blissey could just ice beam it, and that could be, that could be it. I mean, if this Flygon goes down, then I think it's over. Still has to deal with the Celebi, though. That's true. Although this Blissey has mm. both ice beam and fire blast and toxic, I don't think. Celebi would be lasting too, too long. A critical hit on the Ice Beam. Oof. I don't know if I want to be critting that Zard right now, though, because now this thing's in uh, Blaze Range. Although, just flamethrower, Seems huh? to be tanking it pretty well. And there's... Over Overheat? Oof. Oh, no. A little bit of an overpredict, and you're going to be... Very low here as Flygon or Celebi comes back in. I think that still might be out of Flygon Earthquake range. I don't think that Flygon's probably invested at all. And now it becomes a question of whether uh, Blissey will have enough Ice Beams to make it through. 11 Ice Beams remaining. How many Fire Blasts are left too? Because it could just also spam that versus Celebi. Six of them looks like. Gotcha. This is looking very dangerous. This is weird because I think Dice almost wants this Celebi to go down, bring in Flygon for free, and then you could just subseed stall it. Oh yeah, absolutely. But you don't want to like Good switch some... out of Blissey because if Titar comes in, then you can just leech that and then you get the whole process over again. There's, there's the hidden power grass. Yo, if there's ever a time for DD Ice Beam Tar, it would be right now. <laughs> Celebi goes down. Yeah, here comes the uh, Protect Sub uh, bit you were talking about. Now it's a mind game, though. Flygon's gonna go Probably want to get that Blissey in on a Protect. Yeah, but you can't let it happen on a Sub. Interesting. That's Rockside is strong enough to break Sub. Is that a roll or is that just 
flat. Oh. I don't That's know. It's done it two, three times in a row now. It's either a really high roll or maybe it is just flat. That's uh, not good for dice, though. Yeah, wanting Tyranitar to go down to seeds here. I mean... That Flygon still has a ch has a big chance to be able to make it through Blissey. It's uh, ten ice beams left. One, two. I have to make some predictions on protects. I think. Yeah, and then burn like what toxic PP or something. Yeah, and just can't hit a toxic on a sub. This is tough. Doable though. Absolutely. That. Starting off with the ice beam on a protect. Again, not what you want to see. And the sub. That's what you want to see. And then. Alright, let the buying games begin. Yeah, wow. Click Toxic here, yeah. Nice. Seems Shaip has uh, has realized the name of the game as well. There's the sub. Dice just needs to mix it up now, and then it's going to be very difficult. Yeah, that is number three out of ten. We are gonna speed Stop this again. up just a little bit. Sub the ice beam does hit. Sub again. Oh, and there. There it is. There it is. Ah, uh, unfortunate. Yep, that might be it right there. Yeah, the ice beams are gonna be out. Four more of them and. Not making it through the rest of Flygon there's here. The, there's the toxic. the toxic. Yeah, I yeah, know. I think this one. How 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 is Flygon doing on sub and protect PP? Oh, more than enough. Oh yeah. Five and four. Yeah. Full turns or something. Yeah, no. This is especially with EQ probably doing thirty percent or something. Like, don't even probably not gonna be much longer. Is the ice beam. Definitely took it very close, though. Yeah, no. This I have to say, one one mispredict, and that that uh, that's all it took. I mean, Dice was on 19% on the last Pokemon with two substitutes and five protects left. A very valiant effort from Shaiyu. Yeah, that's a close one. That's a hard mind game to get right too. So, credit to Shaiyu. That one's good. Well played. Very well played. Well, that was a great one for us to end our uh, our little recording session streak on. It was wonderful commentating with you, 9 Yeah, that was fun. Thanks for sitting down and commentating these with me. That was a good time. Absolutely. All right. Well, we are out of here. We will see you guys next time on another ADV Revival video. Thank you for watching.